this is a video to explain how to make a bootstrap menu uh, when you have the way bootstrap works is if you have a parent tab like I do here and children underneath it you can't click on the parent tab and go anywhere but you can click on the children now this is specifically for dotnet new video uh, it's just the way dotnet new works so this isn't for all bootstrap uh, clicking issues but this is strictly for dnn.net nuke what we want to do see if I go home I want to be able to click on new patient center and go to that page well in order to do that you need to find a file it's an XL XSLT file mine's name ULXSLT uh, you'll generally find it in your bootstrap menu folder but you want to look for something called Uh, we're looking for a drop down toggle here when you see drop down toggle somewhere in there you're going to see the uh, XLS attribute drop down toggle and it's going to say drop down what we want to do is we want to replace drop down with this Oops. we're going to place drop down 1000 and true what this is going to do is going to give us a one-tenth of a second delay so people on mobile devices can make up their mind what they want to do rather than clicking directly to it because they, they may want to go to a child page. So you want to give them a second to decide. Well, not a whole second. We're going to give them a tenth of a second to decide. And True is going to set it where we can actually click on this one and go to the parent. I'll show you that here real quick. So we're going to replace that. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit. I just like to stick it all under here. Line it up. Let me control S to save that. Go back in here. You remember we couldn't go there originally to the new patient center page. Now we'll click on it and we're going to the new patient center page. And you notice it gave me just a little bit of a delay. I had to wait a little bit. So that way I could, if I'm on a mobile device like a phone, I can make up my mind. You can make your delay a little longer than that if you want. But uh, so say two thousandths, that's in one tenth of a second. Each thousand is a tenth of a second. So that's really all there is to it. I hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.